Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Star Clairvoyant. Thanks for returning, guys. Um, and I'd like to say a big welcome to my newbies. Um, love having every one of you here. Uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment down below if you feel like you need to comment. Um, hitting the like bug button as well sends me your energy, so that helps as well. So when you tune in for my next videos, um, and just to let you know, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I will be giving away one free read in a month to one of my lucky subscribers and only my subscribers. Um, so yeah, just for let you know. Um, today's reading is messages from your person. Um, it could be anybody really, it could be relative, friend, um, lover, but usually it's lover, you know, what people are like. Um, so yeah let's get started this is uh energies as well guys so if you're the king of, if you're a man and you king of the queen of swords comes out you can embody the queen of swords energy and take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force anything and also you can swap the roles as well so it could be you i think i've got everything out breathe right spirit angels ancestors what messages do you have for the collective from their person what messages do you have for the collective from their special person what messages do you have for the collective Ooh, that wants to come out illuminati system secret society masons therapy counseling recommended made need med medication so for some of you it could be this person is in some kind of secret society that you're not aware of um I don't want to say cult, but you know, that's what I'm picking up on. Um, or they could just have like a, 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 you know, something like, I don't know, a book club or something like that. They're, they're into, um, like they're into some kind of club. Uh, therapy counselling recommended, mainly medication. So this person may have not told you that they're in some kind of counselling or feel like they need counselling to deal with past trauma. Um, they could be taking medication. I'm not a doctor, so, you know, disclaimer there. That's what's coming out. What messages do you have for the collective from their person? What messages do you have for the collective from their person? Oh, my goodness. Let's, let's have a look. Um, focus on you, don't worry about them. So the divine is telling you, stop worrying about this person. It could be that they're acting strangely, you know, it could be because they're not sharing any of this with you. And maybe you feel like secrets are being kept. Um, and it also could be from them saying to you, just focus on you, don't worry about me, even though that that the card doesn't say it at the end but that's what i'm getting from that um family brings you down so they find that they feel that your family brings you down a lot it could be putting a lot of pressure on your relationship with this person it could be that they're very demanding of you you know maybe you have to do a lot maybe you have to look after your family and they feel that this brings you down a lot because maybe you're feeling you know um you could be feeling a bit depressed about it we need to talk ASAP, so this person wants to talk to you. Maybe it's to tell you about the therapy, counselling, what's going on with them. I'm intimidated by you. So, yeah, I feel, I feel this person obviously feels that you are a strong person and they may feel weak and they find that that's quite intimidating. You know, you could be a, a badass. I've yeah i'm fine picking up that you're quite strong you know especially if you've got to look after your family and um take care of things mm. std or infection so maybe this person needs to talk to you maybe they've they've contracted a uh std infection and they need to talk to you about it and um it could also be may need medication it could be that this person's going to be telling you that, you know, you're going to have to go get yourself checked as well. 
uh, stop being paranoid and protecting your insecurities. So they feel that you're really paranoid. It could be that you, you're constantly questioning them and they feel you project all your insecurities onto them. I'm not going to find sounds like a bit of an arsehole, to be honest. Incubus, incubus or succubus spirit. So this is like a sexual spirit. It could be that, that your person might be highly sexed or might have a sex addiction because they've got some sort of spirit attached to them. I'm going to get some more. What messages do you have for the collective from their person? What messages does this person want to relay to the collective spirit? I smile in your face and talk shit behind your back. So yeah, this person could be quite two-faced. They obviously, um, I'm picking up that this person likes to put you down a lot when you're not around. Maybe it's to make themselves, you know, you know where some people, they like to put on an act like, oh, I'm the big man or I'm the big woman, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's what I feel this person does. Any more messages, Spirit? Charming, hey? I was blind. I'm sorry. This could be your husband or your wife, guys. Um, so maybe it's to do with this STD, maybe they did something that they shouldn't have done and they were blind and they're sorry, it could be they were blind to how, how good of a person you were collective or are, you know, hacker or cyber security, so this person I feel that <laughs> they, they could hack into your phone, they could have hacked your phone, um, Maybe this person's put secret cameras around your home. That's what I'm getting from that as well, Collective. So just be a bit wary. Um, I'm picking up, you know where people start accusing someone of, say, cheating, you know? They usually say that's because they're projecting and it's because they're cheating. I mean, I had a five-year relationship with someone that did that to me for five years and it turned out that they were the cheating arsehole and it was with multiple people. So, you know... Just be aware of this. All right, let's get some more messages from this person's spirit. What messages do you have for the collective from this special person? Should we call them special? Anything's thinks not. Ooh. So, the Eight of Swords, I didn't follow my own inner guidance and now I feel stuck in the mud. It's hard to see a way out when everyone says this is normal. So, I feel they've got themselves involved with something that they can't seem to get themselves out of. It could be the STD, maybe they, they don't know how to get around this because obviously if they've got something they have to tell you because that's like the right thing to do. Um, it could be if they've got involved with someone because of the Umilati Imla, Imla, and secret society and all that was there, they could have got involved with some kind of gang or something that you're not aware of and they don't know how to get out of it. So this could be why this person needs to talk to you. They've got involved with something that they shouldn't have done and now they feel stressed because the Eight of Swords is... A mental health card it's someone that feels trapped someone that can't find a way out of a situation um yeah so we have the empress i was so deprived of feminine touch in my life to feel safe and nurtured and my light's gone again that's spirit confirming i'll tell you one thing this is so creepy hang on guys i'm just gonna i don't keeps doing this it actually switched off the other week right Let's do that again. That creeped me out. Uh, to feel safe and nurtured, I'm no longer afraid of this. I'm ready to embrace it. Um, so it could be that this person never experienced any love in their life from their childhood. They felt deprived. Um, it could be that they felt like you were concentrating on your family too much, you know, taking care of business. You know, the Empress is the Divine Feminine. She, You could also be a parent too so it could be that you're taking care of the home taking care of the kids if this person's not around and they felt neglected you know 
I'm getting the woe is me vibe. Let's get some more to the spirit. I started, uh, I started new routines to make sure I achieve all my goals to be loyal, responsible, someone you can depend on. So yeah, they're trying to, trying to fix the way they are with you, trying to be more responsible, more grown up, you know, someone that you can look up to and respect. So they're trying to fix themselves at the moment. The devil, it's hard for me to face my pain, so I indulge in short-term pleasures or substances. I know it's not good for me, but I can't stop. So yeah, this person has addictions. This person's toxic. This person could cheat, lie, can be quite possessive. Like I said, cyber security, they could feel like they own you. So don't forget, these are, these are channel messages from your person. You know, this is what they're telling you subconsciously, if you know what I mean. I'm afraid to show you off because I feel you are out of my league and others will make fun of me or try to steal you from me. So, yeah, this is why I feel that, you know, where it said that they talk shit behind your back. I feel this is, like I said, a, a trying to act like Billy Big Bollocks. Um, so it's like, to me, I'm picking up you guys are stunning. You know, you're handsome if you're a man, you're beautiful if you're a female. And this person's so insecure that people are going to be looking at you. So instead of, I've had this done as well. People like this, what they do is they put you down in front of their friends. So it makes you look like you're a crazy bitch or a crazy man. And it they feel it would put you off, put them off of you. So people won't look at you. So this is what they're doing behind your back. So people are mostly really thinking you're a bit of a freak lovely but that's their insecurities uh despite all i cherish all of the time spent together i'm thinking of new ways to bring peace and harmony between us yes yeah, so i feel there is some sort of discord here between the pair of you um things have not been going smoothly for the pair of you neither so they're trying to like i said they're starting to go into a get into a routine become more responsible so you would look up to them and they're trying to bring peace and harmony back into your lives. I mean, let's hope this person can do that. Let's get three more and then I'll move on to the tarot. I tend to take on more tasks than I can handle so I can distract myself from my feelings until I fall into the exhaustion or illness. So this person uses distractions to avoid actually confronting their pain from their past obviously confronting what they're doing to you as well you know burying the head in the sand let's get a few more please spirit from this person okay i'll take that Uh, the fact that you are so mysterious is very thrilling and it turns on my passion because i don't know what to expect so the Knight of Wands is a flighty energy, in and out, no staying power, um, can't make up their mind, very immature as well. But there's something mysterious about you guys collective that they actually find this a turn on. I feel, I feel some of you guys are like the high priestess as well, it's like you, you're, you're, you have psychic abilities, you're mysterious as well, so you know this person finds this quite thrilling. Um, I am new to spiritual journey, but I'm willing to try and see what I can learn as long as I have you by my side. So yeah, maybe they're getting in touch with their spiritual side. Maybe you're, you're trying to teach your person more spirituality instead of the 3D. You're trying to teach them the 5D. Right, spirit, tell us more about this person. What messages does this person have for the collective? What messages does this person have for the collective spirit, please? King of Cups. Let's get a few more. Right, the King of Cups is a water sign, so that's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, the King of Cups is someone that is loving, loyal, kind, faithful. Um, but we'll check into that in a minute. Oh, Father King of Cups, please, Spirit. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Two 
two ones. Yeah, we've already got the six pentacles. Right, so the King of Cups. I feel in the past the King of Cups that you were dealing with is, was, not is, was, um, very emotionally immature, cold towards you, uncaring. King of Cups is a cheater as well. And like I said, this person is trying to change their ways, trying to fix their their way in how they do things and how they treat you and this was a choice that they had to make so the two of two of ones is a a decision, a decision that has to be made it's a choice that has to be made so you can go down one path you can go down another path um, and the choice that this person the king of cups has made is to take the right path and fix the problems that they've caused in their life um, fix things with you collective so that's the de uh, the de I can't even speak for goodness sake decision that they made because they want equal give and take they want to give to you not just take because there was a lot of take 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 from their part with the king of cups so yeah let's have a look more clarify the two of wands please spirit clarify the two of wands so do pick up the energy that this person really does want to make it up to you, Collective. Um, they really do want to try. <clears throat> After Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the Four and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Right, so the Ten of Wands is past baggage. So this King of Wands carries a lot of baggage from their past um, and they haven't released this baggage, they still carry it around with them, which then affects their relationships and their friendships and everything in their life. Um, and they need to actually fix this, which it did come up with, they need therapy. So I feel that the King of Cups is maybe deciding, yeah, I need to actually go see someone, speak to someone, deal with this now, instead of carrying all this past baggage around on their shoulders. Um, They've been hold because the, the the four of pentacles is a miser holding greedy, but I'm not seeing this as that person. I'm seeing this person that they've been holding onto this for so long, this grief of whatever they dealt with in their past, that they've they've got an attachment to this. They they can't let it go. They can't seem to let it go. Um, so that's what they're experiencing at the moment. All this past past baggage they're still holding on to very tightly. Um, the Two of Swords is not knowing which direction to go, what what way to go. It's a choice that you've got to make. It's trying to make the right choice. And this King of Cups is trying to make the right choice at the moment because they don't want to carry on with these, these burdens. They want a new beginning with you. They want a fresh start with you, Collective. Um, and they're willing to do anything to do to have this fresh start with you. And the thing is, we've got the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords speaks to someone that's sneaky, manipulative. Uh, they like to deceive, they cheat, they lie, they steal. But I don't feel this from this King of Cups. I feel they're doing it in a sneaky way behind your back because this is making you guys paranoid. That card came out as well. Um, but they're not wanting to tell you just yet what they're doing. But I'm going to clarify that. Um, but I do feel that it's the King of Swords, the King of Cups being, why did I say King of Swords? Um, the King of Cups is trying to do this sneakily to, I think, impress you. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hearing, impress you. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah, hang on. Clarify the Seven of Swords. See, the Five of Pentacles speaks to someone that's been left out in the cold. There's coldness between two people. Um, they don't want this no more. They don't want coldness between you both. They want how it was. Yeah, look, you've had... It could be that their sneaky behaviour caused all this drama between the pair of you because the Five of Wands is, is conflict, fighting, dramas, you know, outside people getting involved in your connection. This is called cause coldness between the pair of you. Clarify, yeah, look, secrets, high priestess. I said you guys are the high priestess. Um, you've got an inner knowing. Um, 
you know, your, your intuition is usually spot on. And I, I feel that you guys already knew what this, this King of Cups was doing behind your back. Clarify the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah, look. So because of the sneakiness and what have you, and they, they're sneaking about at the moment trying to get this new beginning with you, they want to move from rough waters to calmer waters with you. They want to smooth things over. They don't want to fight anymore. And that's come out up there. Look, they want to collaborate with you. They want to work with you on this. They feel that that you know that they've dealt some been dealt some heavy karma in their life because from their past actions, you know, they've accum accumulated um, karma. So yeah, I feel like this King of Cups really does want to fix things. You know, move. Knight of Wands, Knight of Wands again, we had that earlier, Knight of Wands is a flighty energy, um, like I said, they're in and out, they're usually very highly sexed, like, they're quite sexual, they think with their, their downstairs more than their head, um, let me clarify this, clarify the Knight of Wands, I feel this Knight of Wands is actually feeling quite stuck and stagnant in rushing towards you, but also in the way they've behaved in the past. It's like they, um, they're trying to find a different perspective in, in trying to not be this Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Yeah, look, they want to celebrate with you. They want to go out, have fun again. It can be weddings, it can be birthday parties, it could be celebrations, you know, maybe this person wants to propose if some of you are not married. Clarify the Freer Cups. Clarify the Freer Cups. 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 Oh. Yeah, look, the lovers, hang on. This is... Yeah, clarify the lovers, please. Girls, hopefully it's not a long reading. Might have to start doing extended soon. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Ace of Cups. Right, so, you know, the lovers is a commitment, a choice that has to be made. So, I feel this person chooses you and always has chosen you. Um... The Ace of Pentacles is a divine gift from the Most High. It's abundance, security, a new beginning. It can be marriage, commitment. You know, you've got the Ace of Cups as well, which is a second chance at love. Wow, look at that as well. Um, so it's a second chance at love. You've been offered, the divine is offering this person a second chance to do things right this time. So they've got a ch second chance at love, you know, they could put their family back together. It's happily ever after the Ten of Cups. It's home, family. You know, what more can you want there? And the thing is, I feel like, because the tower is some secrets being revealed, things coming out. It's obviously your foundation and everything comes crashing down. But it's also can be seen in a really good light. This is like a tower moment for this King of Cups. It's like, holy crap, I'm going to lose everything. And I'm going to lose the one person that really means a lot to me. And it's like a a big tower moment that they've come to a conclusion that they've got to sort themselves out. They've got to sort out their past issues, their burdens that they're carrying. And this is what the tower is. So I'm going to leave it there, Collective. And I hope this resonated for you. And I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.